These are the first steps to what I think is the ultimate token upgrade. The first step for this upgrade is to color the edges of the tokens. Now, you might be thinking, this is a pointless thing to do, and yes, it's definitely pointless. Just like playing board games. But don't underestimate this seemingly small upgrade. This will make your tokens look better and give them a more complete feel. After that, I will show you how you can make your tokens more durable, which will also make them feel great in your hands. Perfect for games where you draw tokens out of a bag. You really only need a good permanent marker to get started, but this is what I used. I think the end result will be better if we take the time to remove the small piece of cardboard that got left behind when we punched out our tokens. Be careful not to damage the print or cut too deeply. We have tried Posca and Sharpie pens. I personally prefer the Posca pens. They have a larger selection of colors and sizes. I prefer the PC5M size for coloring token edges, but that's a personal preference. Another reason why I usually prefer Posca is that if you happen to stain the face, you can quickly wipe it off before it dries. You can't do that with Sharpie pens. And here's finally a good use for the leftover cardboard from when you punched out your tokens. This is a great base to test your colors out before you try them on your tokens. Since the cardboard is gray, this affects the color. White paper is not a good test because it lightens up the color of the pen. If you don't have the leftover cardboard, it's good to know that Posca pens have a really vibrant color that closely matches the lid on the pen, making it easy to choose the right color for your project. Sharpies tended to have a darker color than their lids, making it more difficult to choose the right color. When you've prepared your tokens and decided on your pens, it's time to color. Wear gloves to protect your fingers. The gloves can also help you to smudge out the color so it looks even. If you want to keep it simple, you can use a black pen. If you want to be a bit more precise, try to match the color as best as you can. You don't need to match the color perfectly, because if it's similar enough, it would still look good. If you want to take it one step further, then you can try to mix colors, like I've done on these tokens. The biggest downside is that coloring takes a lot of time. And the more tokens you have, the longer it takes. You may find that it takes over your life and becomes an obsession. It consumes every waking moment and the only thing that you can think about. It becomes hard to separate reality from tokens. But it's really therapeutic and the tokens feel more complete when you're finished. Here are some before and after shots. If you want to buy some markers, I have an affiliate link in the description. It doesn't cost you more, but I get a small percentage if you use the link. Let's move on to the next step. By spraying your colored tokens with acrylic varnish, you will seal in the color so it doesn't rub off with use. This also helps the tokens to be more waterproof and withstand more wear and tear. Maybe you have that friend in your group that touches all of the tokens right after they've been in the ship bowl. Ronja, it, it's still your turn. Oh. Yeah. Here's the solution to the problem. This is what I use to varnish my tokens. Here you can see the difference between unpainted, painted and paint plus varnish. Place your tokens on the pegboard. It is advised to not spray your tokens directly onto newspaper, because they could get glued to the paper. A pegboard helps with air circulation and prevents the tokens getting stuck to the surface. You can also use baking paper to prevent your tokens from getting stuck. Before spraying, wipe the tokens clean. Spray your tokens in a ventilated area. Leave to dry according to the instructions. 
flip and spray the other side. But here is where I made a big mistake. The nozzle started to clog up, but at this point I just wanted to be done, so I continued. I don't have footage of this, but the tokens got completely drenched in varnish. Here you can still see how wet they look after an hour, and this time they got stuck to the pegboard, which has never happened before. It might sound strange, but I'm actually pretty happy this happened. The purpose of this channel is to help you not to make mistakes like this, and to feel confident when you upgrade your games. This is the last thing I want to happen to your board games, so I'm determined to figure out how to do this the right way. I did some more research and found this. The trick here is multiple very light coats. Yeah, I figured out that the hard way. In general, higher gloss levels make the image on the token look punchier. That's also very useful to know. Some people suggested using Mod Podge to seal the edges, and many seemed satisfied with this method. And by the way, I will link to all the community posts I found useful in the description, so you can read them yourself. So I went and bought gloss varnish, Mod Podge and extra nozzles, so I hopefully would be able to walk away from this craft victorious. I sprayed some other tokens with gloss varnish, making sure to spray light coats this time. If you still are hesitant, try it on tokens you don't care about, or use the leftover cardboard as a test piece. If you are worried about ruining the face of your tokens, you can seal the edges with Mod Podge instead. And to prove that not even your gross friends can destroy your tokens, we've done this scientific experiment. We found that two or more coats of varnish survived the water test. Now you can finally have a romantic bath with your favorite board game. How many coats you should spray depends on what your goal is. If your goal is to improve the feel of the tokens, we recommend four coats. Four coats made the tokens feel smoother and feels awesome on tokens that you're going to draw out of a bag. But if you're only interested in the improved durability, then two coats is enough. If you're worried about the color rubbing off of your tokens, especially if it's a token that you're going to handle a lot under the game, then varnishing is a good idea. After using both satin and gloss varnish, I personally prefer the gloss one. I actually don't mind the shininess at all. Actually, I think it's quite nice. I think these tokens look and feel great, and for us it's definitely worth the effort. Next we're going to show you how you can upgrade these tokens to a whole other level. Thanks for watching.